Prepare for a lesson. Axe Mead, Axe XP, Axe Misjudged. I have created an analysis on how Collapse is stomping every game by being on top of the network charts by minute 10 and finding out how in almost every game he has blade mill and dagger by minute 12 which is in my opinion quite a nutty timing to play against. And moreover I go over what farming pattern he abuses and how he plays his lane, the mid game and the late game. Here we can observe as soon as the lane meets Collapse instantly cast Battle Hunger on the Nature's Prophet as he realizes that NP is the only hero in this lane which can poke him from a safe distance and pinks the techies to trade with the NP so he can get a favorable 1v1 with the Void, play the first few waves without any pressure and get crucial levels and items so that he can pressure the Void in later levels. With the gold he has obtained from the first few waves Collapse opts for a Bracer and a Stick. Bracer is an incredible item on X as it provides health region, strength and damage to sustain the lane against White and a Stick to take better trades. Collapse understands his hero limits and plays the lane against White defensively when his health is low or he has double wave under tower, meaning he does not hit him for no reason and waits for his hero's power spike and item timings patiently. As soon as Nature Prophet comes out of position he starts with Battle Hunger to slow the NP and goes on him with Techies' his blast off and secures the kill as he understood his timings better than the enemy. First major power spike of X is level 4 when he has 2 points in counter helix and when he gets his chain mill that provides him useful armor which he will later use to buy blade mill. With these two item slash level timings he feels confident enough to go behind the tower and contest any pull that the enemy position 5 is doing as all the attempts of harass on axe is completely futile as he has high amounts of armor and easily skip the wave and farm the camp at the same time. After level 5 and onwards Collapse turns on his farming mode and doesn't flinch even after getting ganked by Tusk. He makes sure to skip the wave behind White's tower and drags it to the camp and does it every 30 seconds to make sure he farms efficiently and faster as enemy carry is only farming 4 creeps while Collapse is farming both the jungle camps and creeps simultaneously. Collapse then picks up blade mill as it provides him useful armor, damage and an active that deals damage when enemy unit hits him which coincides with his first spell Berserker Skull. Collapse follows the aforementioned farming pattern until he gets his dagger and walks to base to reset his resources. Blink dagger is a must item on Axe as it lets him set up with his Berserker Skull. From the base he does not instantly teleport to any lane but first observes the map and decides which lane is optimal to gank. He sees that White is rotating back to a safer position and any other kill on the map is not worth teleporting for. After realizing these facts he decides to teleport mid and land a clean kill on Ember and secures a culling blade stack. Another reason as to why Axe is viable in this patch is how Collapse and other professional players are landing kills on heroes. As you guys might know Axe was a hero that suffered from insane armor issues but due to the recent changes Axe can secure permanent culling blade stacks that increases his total armor and makes him more tanky. After killing the Ember Collapse then puts pressure on the mid tier 1 tower to get information on the map as someone will either teleport to defend it or completely ignore it meaning they are farming the side lanes. Since no one is teleporting to defend it and there is only two heroes present there, Collapse realizes that he needs to play aggressively as it's his timing of Link Dagger and decides to invade the enemy triangle as the mid tier 1 fell and forces moves upon him. He ends up farming the whole ancient stack and forces rotations back to the triangle which results in his team getting the opportunity to take more farm on the lane and have more space on the map. One more thing we can learn from Collapse is that it's better to make the first move and force them to react to your moves instead of reacting to theirs. Collapse then opts for Boots of Travel after Blade Mill and Dagger. Boots of Travel is a phenomenal item on Axe as it lets him put pressure in terms of providing an ability to be present at any lane at any given moment. Meaning that Axe can set up and kill any hero on the map using Boots of Travel since it's very hard to avoid an Axe that way. This is also useful as a recent changes to the Dota 2 map has made it bigger and people prefer to play away from each other and find farm on map and this Boots of Travel build enables the Axe to catch them more conveniently. 
collapse then goes for shard. X suffers from armor issues as previously mentioned. The Aghanim shard provides X a new dimension to tank fights the more enemy attack hits him. Cutting the way from behind the tower is something that collapse does every game. How he approaches his mechanic depends on the matchup he is facing. Against bad matchups such as Razor, Monkey King and Ursa Warrior, he does it in a more defensive manner, meaning he plays defensively until level 3 and 4 and then starts skipping waves but against heroes that are not lane dominators, he puts pressure on them on the early levels then starts skipping waves behind tower to accelerate his farm to hit his timings faster. As for the hard camp, collapse on the axe does not really care if it's unlocked or not and same goes for the small camp as Axe can contest it if it's pulled but prefers it blocked if he's playing against a hard matchup. Let's look at how Collapse plays on his level 6 timings against a non-favorable matchup. In this case is a Razor. He plays the lane until level 6 defensively and goes for the play on Razor after he gets his Culling Blade and when his Elder Titan sets up on Razor. Understanding your timing in lane after early levels is very crucial as an offlane player and to make sure to go for plays that are sure kills and does not put you in a dangerous position. In this context, the Razor and Pagna would not have died if Axe did not wait for level 6 and went for this play earlier. Now let's analyze how Collapse approaches the teamfight in a game where he is playing from behind. As an Axe playing from behind, he prioritizes going for solo kills against heroes that will die in his blade mill call combo to split up the map and help his team to take a 4v5 teamfight. In this clip, he lands a crucial kill on Monkey King as he read the map correctly, which enables his team to take a 4v5 fight without their hard carry. Due to this team fight, Dyer was able to come back into the game just because Collapse knew the limit of his hero and had enough confidence in himself to go for this play. To wrap up this analysis on Collapse's axe, let's look at how Collapse approaches late game fights. In late game, Collapse picks up Bloodstone and Refresher along with Kaya Sans to replace Blade Mill later on in the game. Bloodstone is great on Axe as it syncs with Kaya Sanj which provides him damage and health if, and moreover heals the Axe in duration of the call to help sustain the Axe. In late game, Collapse on Axe prefers to play the fight patiently and jump more than one hero with BKB and completely burst him given that enemy does not have a reliable save. He also has a refresher in his arsenal to reset the fights with double BKB of which renders him practically invincible. As for the talents, he opts for plus 4 second cutting blade speed duration to increase his overall mobility, plus 30 counter helix damage on level 15 to farm faster, plus 150 culling blade damage on level 20 to make sure that he has enough damage threshold on his ulti to gather the stacks and finally plus 100 call AoE on level 25 to help him catch more than one hero in the later stages of the game. So guys, I hope you have found the video useful. Do let me know if you have any questions or feedback about this analysis on Collapse's Axe. If you want an even more detailed analysis about your game, you can join my Discord linked below in the description where I provide coaching at cheap prices and good luck in your pubs.